Prince Harry has been heavily criticised and his reputation has been severely damaged due to a single controversial decision. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more updates. Prince Harry's reputation has been brutally attacked, with critics claiming that he has completely lost all credibility due to his controversial decision to accept the Aspy Pat Tillman Award. In a poignant and heartfelt ceremony in California, the emotional prince attended a glamorous awards evening on July 11 to be honored for his service, a recognition typically reserved for influential figures in the world of sports who have made remarkable contributions to the betterment of others. However, a prominent TV host on GB News has vehemently criticized Prince Harry's acceptance of the award, deeming it nothing short of embarrassing. Nana Akua expressed her disbelief at the lack of sensitivity towards Pat Tillman's mother and family, questioning how they could not perceive the discomfort this would cause them. In her opinion, they would prefer Prince Harry not to receive the award, even if he believes he is accepting it on behalf of others. This act, according to Akua, has obliterated any remaining shred of Prince Harry's credibility, leaving him in an utterly humiliating position. The Duke of Sussex faced a barrage of criticism, with even Pat Tillman's mother, Mary Tillman, condemning the decision to bestow the honour upon him. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, she expressed her shock and bewilderment at why such a controversial and divisive individual was chosen as the recipient of this prestigious award. There are far more deserving individuals who would be a better fit for this recognition. Within the veteran community, there are extraordinary individuals who are making tremendous contributions to assist their fellow veterans. These individuals lack the financial means, resources, connections, and privileges that Prince Harry possesses. It is my belief that these remarkable individuals should be the ones receiving recognition. The award itself is named after the late Pat Tillman, a former American football player who selflessly gave up his career to serve in the U.S. military following the tragic events of 9-11. Sadly, he lost his life in Afghanistan in 2004. Prince Harry, aged 39, was bestowed this honor for his work with the Invictus Games, an event that celebrates the athletic achievements of service members who have been wounded, fallen ill, or injured. It is worth noting that Prince Harry himself served in the army for a decade, rising to the rank of captain and completing two tours in Afghanistan. Upon hearing the news of Prince Harry's nomination, a petition was launched on Change.org, urging ESPN to reconsider their decision to grant him such a significant honor. The petition argues that there are more deserving individuals who should receive this recognition. During the award ceremony, Prince Harry expressed his gratitude to Pat Tillman's widow, Marie, for attending the event and acknowledged Mary Tillman. He stated that he deeply respects her dedication to preserving Pat's legacy. Prince Harry also paid a heartfelt tribute to his own mother, the late Princess Diana, emphasizing the eternal and transcendent bond between a mother and son, even in the face of great loss. Regarding the Invictus Games, Prince Harry remarked on the progress that has been made since its inception, but also highlighted the precarious state of the world outside. He made it clear that the award does not solely belong to him, but rather to everyone involved in the games. ESPN previously stated that Prince Harry was being honored for his tireless efforts in making a positive impact on the veteran community through the power of sports. The 2024 Aspy Ceremony held at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles, was hosted by tennis champion Serena Williams, a close friend of the Duchess of Sussex. Previous recipients of this prestigious award include Marcus Rashford, the forward for Manchester United, whose influential campaign led the government to provide free meals to vulnerable children during school holidays amidst the pandemic. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.